This is the second of three programs about work as a dental hygienist or dental therapist. The standards and qualifications are typical of those required worldwide. Dental hygienists and dental therapists have both clinical and health promotional responsibilities. Clinically, they help to treat and prevent periodontal, that is, gum disease by scaling and polishing teeth, applying prophylactic and antimicrobial materials. They also take dental radiographs and undertake monitoring and screening procedures. Therapists can also assist the dentition with simple restorations, placement of preformed crowns and pulp treatments on deciduous teeth. Deciduous teeth are also called baby teeth or milk teeth. Dental hygienists and therapists are also permitted to apply topical fluorides and fissure sealants in order to reduce dental caries, so-called tooth decay. The health promotional role of dental hygienists and dental therapists includes motivating and encouraging individuals and groups in oral health practices, including oral hygiene and dietary advice. Therapists and hygienists can give specific advice on preventive care, nutrition, the use of fluoride, and how to stop dangerous habits such as smoking. Dental therapists perform routine scale and polishing of teeth as well as placing restorations in deciduous and permanent teeth, placing preformed crowns, pulp treatments on deciduous teeth and the extraction of deciduous teeth under local anesthesia. It is important to ensure that the dental hygienist and the dental therapist have an understanding of the clinical presentation and management of the common diseases of the oral mucosa, of other oral soft tissues, and of the salivary glands, as well as an understanding of the oral manifestations of systemic diseases. The various manifestations of facial pain should also be considered. Let's pause for this message. This is a tree that was never chopped down to make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio because a vaccine was never in short supply. Thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. You can help Rotary end polio now. Learn how you can help at rotary.org slash end polio. Welcome back to the program. Dental hygienists and dental therapists should have sufficient knowledge of the causes, pathology, progression and presentation of dental caries and acute and chronic periodontal diseases and the management and treatment of these conditions. They should have a good knowledge of the role of plaque in both the initiation and the progression of these diseases. They should be able to record and monitor the extent of disease before, during and after treatment. Restorative dentistry is concerned with the management of the plaque related diseases, dental caries and periodontal diseases, tooth wear and tooth loss. Dental hygienists and dental therapists should be familiar with all aspects of restorative management, including preventive non-operative care, as well as the restoration and replacement of teeth. As part of their work, dental hygienists and dental therapists must understand the principles of implant therapy and undertake implant maintenance. And that's it for part two in the series of programs about work as a dental hygienist or a dental therapist. Join us again for part three.